Hi everyone. Today we are going to see Webster's The White Devil. It is a tragedy in five acts. It was written by John Webster, an English playwright in 1612. It tells a story of adultery, corruption, murder and revenge among the wealthy men and women of the Italian nobility. Webster based his play The White Devil on the sensational murder of a young Italian noblewoman, Vittoria Acrombani. It happened in the year 1585. It is a real story based on this. He has written the play The White Devil. Considering it as a revenge play, it demonstrates many of the conventions of the genre. It includes the theme of vengeance, the use of the supernatural elements, characters will be in disguise, madness and violent matters are there. In addition to this, it focuses on retribution and it also explores the themes of misogyny, double standards and the deceptive nature of appearances. That's why the title itself is the white devil. It means the enemy in disguise. Let's see the characters and the plot. The Duke of Branchiano visits the home of the beautiful Vittoria Corombana and her husband Camilo. Passionately in love with Vittoria, Branchiano plans to seduce her. Even though both are separately married. Branchiano is married to Isabella and has a son named Giovanni. Vittorio is married to Camillo. Vittorio's family is poor even though they belong to the noble family. Flamino is Branchiano's secretary. He is cynical and misogynistic. She, he is also the eldest brother of Vittoria. Vittoria has one more brother named Marcello. Flamino is cynical and he offers to help Branchiano and Vittorio get together, believing that this will further his own career. He and his girlfriend Sanchi, the Moorish la lady's maid, arrange for Branchiano and Vittoria to meet secretly. The two express their love for each other and Vittoria shares a recent bad dream in which Camillo had and Branchiano's wife Isabella tried to bury her ally. Branchiano blindly vows to protect Vittoria by killing their inconvenient spouses. Vittoria's mother overhears their discussion and accuses them of adultery and curses them. Never heeding to the words of Cornelia, Vittoria continues her affair with Branchiano. At this time, Isabella arrives from Rome with her brother Francisco de Medici and Cardinal Monticello. Isabella asks his brother Francisco to be kind to Branchiano when the two men upbraid him about his infidelity. After Francisco and Monticello depart, Branchiano tells Isabella he will never sleep with her again. Essentially, he expresses that he wants divorce from Isabella. Flamino and Branchiano plot to murder both Camillo and Isabella. Ruthlessly, Branchiano meets with the conjurer who magically shows the two murders as they happen. Before retiring for the evening, 
that is before going to bed isabella has a habit of kissing her portrait of branchiano this time however the unscrupulous doctor julio and his assistant have poisoned the picture's lips isabella unknowingly about this plot kisses it and dies meanwhile camillo and flamino out drinking with some companions have a gymnastics competition of riding on a cars when camillo and flamino are alone in the room flamino breaks camillo's neck and arranges the body to look as though his death was a vaulting accident cardinal montesalzo and francisco believe vittoria killed her husband since they do they, they don't have any hard evidence they plan to get her convicted by assassinating her character montesalzo acts as a prosecutor and judge defaming vittoria and calling her a whore vittoria bravely defends herself vittoria argues that they are condemning her because branchiano loved her which she compares to blaming a river for the death of someone who drowned themselves in it despite her logical arguments montesalzo sentences herself to a prison in which reformed prostitutes were residing flamino feigns insanity to avoid answering questions about his part in the murder of camillo and now pardoned now arrayed the count lodovico who was once sent away from rome for his crimes he talks his talks to his two henchmen gasparo and antonio both of them promise to get his banishment revoked it was the opening scene of the play in which we came to know that lodovico has confessed about his crime and accepted his banishment from rome but he gave some gave some money to the henchmen and made them promise to get his banishment cancelled count lodovico has secretly loved isabella now the pardoned lodovico returns to rome he reveals that he loved isabella and vows to avenge her death francisco plots his own revenge writing an anonymous letter to vittoria with the intent of making Bracciano jealous Francisco's plan works Bracciano angrily calls Vittoria a whore Vittoria convinces him that she loves him and he promises to break her out of prison Bracciano Vittoria Flamino Giovanni take advantage of the confusion in Rome when the pope dies and branchiano vittoria flamino flee to padua where they get married and hold court montesalzo is named the next pope and promptly excommunicates the lovers francisco hires Ludovico to kill them In this case and out for revenge Francisco Ludovico 
and Gaspero present themselves for work in Branchiano's court in Padua. Francisco takes the identity of a Moor, calling himself Mulinazer. Lodovico and Gasparo pretend to be monks. Flamino fights with his younger brother Marcelo over his relationship with Zanchi and stabs him. Lodovico puts poison on Branchiano's helmet as Branchiano dies. Lodovico and Gasparo reveal themselves and strangle him. Meanwhile, Sanchi has transferred her affections to Mulinazer, unaware he is really Francisco. She discloses the truth about Camilo and Isabella's murders. At Lodovico's urging, Francisco departs, leaving Ludovico to finish exacting their revenge. Meanwhile, Giovanni takes away his father's title and as the new duke banishes Flamino. Branchiano's ghost appears to Flamino, offering him a bowl filled with lilies and skull. When the ghost throws dirt on him, Flamino believes it is an evil woman of his death. Flamino visits Vittoria and Sanchi announces that he promised Branchiano he would kill Victoria if Branchiano died. He convinces the two women to participate in a murder come suicide plot, first shooting him, then killing him themselves. Victoria and Sanchez shoot Flamino and rejoice in his death, disclosing that they never intended to go along with this scheme. Branchiano after his death, wrote a will in which, after his death, all his fortunes will be handed over to Vittoria and Gio, till Giovanni comes of his age. So Flamino wants to swindle Vittoria and takes all the um, fortunes for him. First, he was very loyal to his sister, but when Vittoria refuses to give his part, he plots this murder come suicide. Flamino and the, at the end says that he doesn't believe in women. Never, never believe women. He says, Flamino, however, stands up and reveals that the pistols were not loaded. Lodovico, Hasparo and the two of the henchmen, Carlo and Pedro, burst in and stab the three to death. Giovanni enters and captures their adventures. Lodovico admits to the slaughter, saying, He was acting under Francisco's orders and is content now that he has avenged Isabella. Giovanni sends Lodovico off to be tortured, concluding with a warning to evildoers, let guilty men remember their black deeds. Thus ends the play White Devil with the justice to the evil doers. They are the remaining characters who are alive in the play. The other characters who has who are innocent as well as who are the perpetrators of the death revenge 
and cheating met their death so the play ends with black shit and these many characters bring the story of debauchery and murder and avenge also thank you for your patient listening